Well, preparations are underway for the fourth annual Winter Fest in Lloydminster. Taking place on Family Day this Monday, it's a great way to celebrate winter with the family. Winterfest is to get families out from the community uh, and spend the day with each other doing winter activities as winter can sometimes be a dreadful season. Winterfest will be held from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Service Sports Centre. Sleigh rides, skating, marshmallow roasts, free hot, free hot dogs and bounce houses are just a few of the activities. We do have stuff inside and outside. Last year it was pretty chilly, but we were still able to have lots of people uh, going outside for a little bit, coming back in. We're going to have some fire pits out there to keep people warm and some free food and stuff. For more information on Winterfest, you can head to the City of Lloydminster's website. Well, in Lloydminster's ever-expanding culinary landscape, sometimes all it takes to get noticed is a unique approach to an old idea. A new pizza place in the border city is hoping to impress with a high-powered brick oven made with ash from Mount Vesuvius. This oven is hot, up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's enough to cook a pizza in 90 seconds. But before it can be cooked, each Neapolitan pizza has to be prepared. So the first guy is just going to toss the dough. So you'll have a cheese base or a, just maybe a tomato base only, and then you'll just walk the line, you'll go to the meat section, put a meat on it, go to the vegetable section, throw a veggie on it. Some green peppers and some red peppers, please. So once we get the pizza, we actually stretch it out a little bit. We, we kind of give it a little bit, reduce the surface tension on the, on the peel, try to find the hottest spot based upon the pizza. So if we have a white pizza, we'll cook it a little bit further in the front. If it has sauce, we can actually put it further in the back so it doesn't burn the top. Technique is important, but so is being profitable. And it's no secret the border city has seen better times. The value is great compared to your sit-down restaurants. That piece is probably $15 to $18. So it just made sense to come here. And I know the economy is a little bit down, but I think we fit that actually very well. Jonathan Cost and the other trainers made the trip to Lloyd from Firecrest's flagship location in Dallas. But CEO Scott Bender says smaller can be better. If you open in a big city, you're kind of lost in the shuffle. A community like this, you're, you know, you have people coming in, they see you being built, they come in and try you out. So you got a better shot at that initial approach to the cities. That means for once, Edmontonians and Saskatonians will need to come to the border for a unique experience. At least until this summer when Firecrest opens in Edmonton. We are one week away from the annual AgriVisions Showcase at the Lloydminster X Grounds. This, or this year boasts several presentations on topical agriculture issues and a new attraction for producers. Gerard Lampau has the details in this week's Ag Report. If you enter online, you can get a chance to win uh, two Oiler tickets. Organizers are urging you to get your tickets for the annual agriculture trade show AgroVisions, which gets going at the Lloyd X Grounds next Wednesday and Thursday. Now in its 25th year, the show brings together the Midwest agriculture industry for seminars, demonstrations, and the latest information in both the cattle and grain sectors. This year, there's a new attraction. It's a seating innovation zone. It's where all the dealers and their manufacturers are going to come in and they're going to demonstrate their, the new, newest and latest seating techniques. One of this year's presenters with a family background in agriculture shares on a timely topic as it's the International Year of Pulses. Pulses are things like beans, peas, lentils and chickpeas and they have a huge, the United Nations has actually recognized them because they have a huge nutritional impact not only for developing countries but here, but here in Canada. Long's presentation to pulse growers will be next Thursday. Other topics include cattle market outlook, global economics and the impact on ag commodity prices as well a talk titled What You Don't Know Can Hurt You. First of all, what do you value? What's important to you? And let's take a look at that from uh, not just a safety and emergency standpoint, but from a business standpoint. That talk will be on Wednesday afternoon and will be followed by Assistant Deputy Minister John Brown talking about safe and healthy Alberta farms. The day wraps up with the annual banquet. So we have a great banquet, uh, Campfire and Vittles Banquet. That's also another great, exciting, fun event. Uh, we have uh, Deb Clement, she's coming here to speak and she's a great motivational humorist. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News.